Hyperloop, a potential new form of high-speed uh, transportation system that promises to cut down travel time by hours, has reached a milestone. A company developing the technology in the Netherlands has announced that they have achieved a successful test for the futuristic mode of travel. Now look at the 420 meter wide steel tube that runs alongside a railway line in the Winspet uh, region of northern Netherlands. The tube is the heart of the new European Hyperloop Center. Its company, Hardit, uh, is confident that it will usher a new form of transport that will be far from efficient and than any short haul flights, high speed rail and freight trucks. So today with the first successful test we were able to levitate the vehicle, also turn on the guidance system and the propulsion system, then we move the vehicle to our launch position uh, about 20 meters into the tube and then we launched it with an acceleration similar to that of a metro uh, up to a top speed of about 30 kilometers an hour, uh, about 100 meters in the pipe and uh, that's when we reached the successful test. So how does this technology work? Well, a vacuum pump sucks out the air from the tube to reduce the internal pressure. This reduces the drag and allows capsules to travel at high speeds. Hyperloop developers aim to have capsules speeding through tubes at speeds of up to 700 kilometers per hour. However, so far in the limited space offered by the test center, the speed has been modest. Meters here where we've been testing, we are of course limited by the length, so we cannot accelerate for a very long time. So this is mainly our current limiting factor for the speed that we've been able to reach. Uh, but as soon as we start traversing the whole infrastructure, we will be able to go up to 100 kilometers an hour. And then if we extend the facility even further, we can reach even higher speeds to really demonstrate the Hyperloop uh, velocities. Now, Hyperloop, originally the brainchild of Elon Musk, uh, Musk first proposed the idea more than a decade ago, suggesting it could shuttle passengers between San Francisco and Los Angeles in under half an hour. Subsequently, several companies around the world announced plans for pilot projects, while testing continues in Windem Hyperloop. Uh, developers hope destinations for their technology are forthcoming. And uh, according to Hardit, the main challenge is finding government commitment to build routes and finding new funding to develop the test facilities. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.